Mara UTV. I'm by the names of Nanyo Do Shazmin. Uh, with me I have today's top headlines. UK coins and banknotes first law queen to King Renewal. Sailor killed at Pearl Harbor, buried after eight years. Women held in South Korea over bodies found in New Zealand street cases. Uh, here are the news in details. Rain, her profile faced to the right, while Charles's will face to the left. Seemingly a small matter, but changing queen to king on banknotes, coins, stamps, and post boxes come at a cost. Let's hear more news from Shivan's Nakai. The Bank of England says it costs approximately 7 to 8 euros to produce a banknote and there are some 4.7 banknotes in circulation in the UK. So the cost to replace this can be estimated at around 350 million euros according to Joe Track, a writer in the Coin Expert. Track told DW that the Royal Mint does not disclose how much it costs to produce new coins, but with 29 million currently in circulation to replace we can assume the total cost will also be several million pounds the bank of england's governor andrew bailey said in a statement that current banknotes featuring the image of her majesty the queen will continue to be a legal tender nakaya shivan's patience mra utv woman held in south korea over bodies found in new zealand street cases Police say the woman is believed to be a mother of two children whose remains were found in the suitcases in New Zealand last month. The National Police Agency said the Korean born New Zealander was taken into custody in the southeastern city of Hulsan. Let's have more details from Nakaya Shivans. The woman, who is in her 40s, has been charged with murder after being suspected of fleeing to South Korea in 2018. This was because of killing her then 7-year-old and 10-year-old children in Auckland. New Zealand police has launched a homicide inquiry in Auckland last month after the remains of the children were found by a family going through their contents of a storage locker they had besieged and seen. The children had been dead for a number of years and and the suitcase had been in storage for at least three or four years, according to the police. Nakaya Shivan Spetchens, MRI UTV. Um, sailor killed at Pearl Harbor, buried after 80 years. Herbert Jacobson was laid to rest after modern forensics testing allowed his remains to be identified. Let's hear more details from Shivan's Nakaya. Herbert Jackson was buried 
in Ellington National Cemetery after modern forensics testing allowed his remains to be identified. His nephew told the news agency AP that to finally know what happened to the slayer gives their family a closure. Jackson, who was a 20-year-old, was among the 400 slayers who lost their lives on board of the USS Oakland as one of the four battleships sunk by the Japan's assault and it was two years before their bodies were recovered by many but many could not be identified. Nakaya Shivan's patience, MRIU TV. Driver charged thousands at petrol pump gets refund. Raising petrol prices are nothing in South Africa, but a motorist there says he was told to be charged thousands of dollars to refill his tank. Let's hear more news from Natabi Hanifa. Sebastiano Santino says he was mistakenly charged around US dollar 6,800 instead of US dollar 68 for 52 liters of petrol at an Indian station, Mozambique, last week. Local media report that he has now been embarrassed. Mr. Santino says he has now deleted the original social media posts and written about the error. Natalia Nifa, MRI. Fuel prices hit record high as subsidies removed. The cost of fuel in Kenya has risen to a new record high after the government partially removed subsidies from the global in oil prices. Let's have more details from Natawi Hanifa. The energy regulator said later on Wednesday night that it had removed the subsidy for spare petrol while training a small subsidy for diesel and kerosene. In the new prices, super metro mostly used by private motorists will now cost about 179 shillings, a litre up from 160 shillings, while diesel which is used by the transporters and industries will cost 165 shillings in the capital Nairobi. Comes after President William Oluto indicated in his annual speech that his administration would do away with the fuel and food subsidies, noting that they were costly and ineffective. But there were concerns that a complete removal of the subsidies would hit the economy as the fuel prices directly affect the cost of living. Natalia Nifa from our relatives. A glance at the AIMA regionism empowerment. When you take a sport or either take a deep look at the way the AIMA regionalism department is devoted to the practice. It is hands-on to every participant and backed by the Wellstock Studios of Rio FM and AIMA Rio TV. The department has fed the group of practice with outstanding personnel backed by professionals in the practice and it is seen from the products of the different students take a glance at every sector the real FM has all the required machines and personnel to release a well-backed student the MRO TV now has some of the most competitive programs in the media world it is Motesa One Rio University Journalism Department. Oh, welcome back from that commercial break. Here are the rest of the news. Nigeria's police brutality victims paid $700,000. Nigeria's National Human Rights Commission has found about $700,000 in compensation to the victims of police brutality. Fight eight people, mainly family members of victims, of rights of violations. Let's have more details from Natavi Hanifa. Illegal arrests and prolonged detentions, as well as illegal sensational properties. The head of the Human Rights Commission, Tonji, said the payment was a gesture of apology to the victims from the government to acknowledge that their rights were violated. Also said that the cash payment should not be seen as representing the actual cost of the violations and harm suffered by the victims. 
explaining that the commissioner's mandate is to protect the rights of the Nigerians. In October 2020, police brutality and violation of human rights by the Special Anthropology Squad, police unit struggled a nationwide with a huge tag. Thanks for tuning in. That has been Poco Poco International News. And a quick reminder, please do not forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. May the good Lord bless you. I remain Nanyundo Shazmin.